Hi guys, today we are talking about all my self-watering pots, uh, ones I recommend, ones that I don't. Um, small disclaimer before we start, the one that I love and recommend, uh, you can't get anymore unless you want to, one, buy in a group of 50 or more, which is niche. I might want 50, but most people don't. But the most important thing is you have to ring, um, is it Alibaba? You have to call them and arrange it. No, we're not doing that. So, um, it's a shame because it's such a good part. And this one, I'll talk about that one first. So, I like a self-watering pot that is good for soil and lecker and has one of these. <laughs> and I also love that they have these um, little water gauges things, but as you'll notice, I don't use them because this one is way below minimum. Right, so it looks like this. It looks like a Le Chuser, but Le Chuser pots don't have this. And if you watch my videos a lot, you'll know I'm only getting this out so I can show you this plant's roots. <sighs> they make me so happy. Yeah, so the lecker sits in the little feet. Um, there's a water reservoir at the bottom, or there should be, there really isn't one. And then it slowly gets sucked up by the lecker. Um, and you can also use it in the soil. You just put a, a layer of lecker or pond on the bottom to stop the water just going <laughs> and then you'd end up with overwatering. So you just need that little barrier. Oh, we are growing. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> I was going to say it's a bit late in the year for you, love. So yeah, I love this part and it, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. I'm looking for something similar. It's, and it's got the little shoot thing so you can pour the water in. Uh, and perfect. The only issue is you can't get it, which is a, a big issue. I'll, I'll give you that. But once I find an alternative on Amazon, I will do a video on that because I love it so, so much. I'm sorry about the weird big face brightness thing, but um, I don't know my phone settings and the sun won't change its settings. So we are stuck with my big moon face. I'm hoping that I don't still have the cold that I had last week but I filmed them both on the same day. So this time, um, well, when I should be filming video next week, <laughs> this makes no sense. I film a video every week, but this week, this week I'm filming two videos because when I should be filming next week, I'll be in Ikea. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, right. Next we have, I didn't bring up my um, rectangle. I've got three little shoes apart. I've only got one with me. The, I've got one that is the big version of this one. It's exactly the same, but bigger. And then I've got another one, which is a rectangular one that has my peas lily in it. These ones, they're fine. Uh, I've got a whole video on it and I go through whether I like it or not. The only issue I have with it is, there's a snail in it. Mate. How did I get a snail? Are you okay? I don't think it's okay. You go and it's it's on my um squamiferum. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. You know the one with the hairy leaves. Mine's looking terrible at the moment, but it's fine. Um Well How does one get a snail in one's house? Oh, I know. It's from you. It's, it'll be from my snake plant that I brought in from outside. I'd feel bad, but like it could have lived on my snake plant perfectly happily. Dude, I hope he's okay. We try so hard to like feed all the wildlife and stuff. Um, we live in um, a fairly fairly rural area. In a medium-sized town and so we've got like hedgehogs and stuff so we put out cat food but um, whenever we put the cat food out the hedgehogs are never waiting occasionally there's a cat at the end of the garden like yes but there's like just legions of slugs like yeah feeding time uh which i would be mad about but since we've been feeding the hedgehogs they've left my hostas alone so i'm like oh, i'll feed the cats i'll feed the hedgehogs i'll feed the slugs and then they leave the hostas alone so um, if the cats would also stop pooing in my raised beds, I'd be grateful, but cats don't care, so. 
just have to deal with them. Anyway, the only issue I've got with Nylon Shoes Apart is it, it's got this that fits in the pot rather than like a hole in a pot. So it is a bit of a ball ache for lacquer. Plus also, yes, there is a plug in the bottom, but it's not, it, it's not like it's in that this like raised up bit so you can't get the water out from there which is really annoying they're one of those things i think they suit the people that like them but not they don't suit me so don't come for me in the comments if you like them like they're a good quality pot um but i'm not there's other stuff that i prefer we'll say so I do like the rectangular one though, but it's different. It's not, it doesn't have, it's got a water gauge, but it doesn't have any of this scumph. It's just a pot with like um, an inner pot. And then you've got to put nursery pots in that. So it's like three layers, but it works fine. But it's not a particularly sophisticated system, but it, you know, it does, it does the job, it's fine. I wouldn't buy another one. My boyfriend bought it and I like it, but it's nothing to write home about. It's fine. These you can buy on Amazon, super cheap. I want to say like 12 quid for six. It's just a wicking thing. My only comp, like these are really simple. I can't really complain about a pot, another pot and a string. Like the only issue I have is the holes in the side. So these ones, you can see the, like, the light shining through them. But then as you get around, they're not going to do it. These ones, they're bare, they're just like um like a cut, like someone's just run a, rather than like an actual hole that the roots can get through. You can't see because it's too dirty. It does mean that if you're, if you grow a plant in them and the roots come out the sides, sometimes it can be a pain getting them out, which isn't, you know, it's not that big a deal for the price point. And I do quite like the way they look. Do I have a shelf of them? I'm sure I do. Oh, it's the one direct, is it, is that there? you it was you lot yeah they do look you know they're fine they look quite cool all together if that's your aesthetic i don't have an aesthetic i just have a load of plants and i'll deal with them as i can this is an aliexpress job i like this one it was pretty cheap i want to say it was about three quid uh with the obli obligatory like 12 week <laughs> delivery time from aliexpress i love aliexpress but i don't buy from them because I have plenty of plant pots I don't need anymore. I only buy them because I like, I think, oh, that might be good and I can tell people about it. But there is no point with AliExpress because by the time I've got it, had it long enough to make a decent review, it'll have gone. So it's pointless. But for the price, I like that it's got an inner pot. It's got a string as well. Um, You know, little holes in the bottom there. It doesn't need the string. You can just fill up the this. Uh, it doesn't, ha and it's got the little shoot thing that you can pour the water through. So if this was soil, uh, it's currently just a Lekka storage thing. Um, if it was soil, you wouldn't need to water it to get the water into the reservoir, which you're like, well, that's a ridiculous system. Yes, I know, but some plant pots require it. So yeah, there's like a little shoot there that you can put the water through. It does have a little window here. Please excuse the sun. Uh, where you can see the water, but I'd want it to be longer if uh, to use it properly, it would need to be longer, really, if you were using it with Lekka. And also, we have the issue that water's clear, and this is it's it's clear, it's transparent, but not that transparent. It's quite cloudy, it's not like it's glass or anything, it's quite cloudy plastic, so it is nigh on impossible to see where the water is. You might be able to flip. The, the pot doesn't reach, I don't know if you can see, if I can, I can see when I look in the, in the light where the pot is, the pot's about here, as it's like the string method, but if you're using it without the string, which you might want to, I'm not massive on the string, it's a bit hit or miss, I'd need the water level to be above this, so this would need to be bigger, um, but if you had trouble, if you were using the wick and you had trouble seeing where the water is, you could probably just float something in it. I can't think of anything right now. Maybe bits of styrofoam or something so you could see where it was. I also love the idea of putting a bit of food colouring in. I don't know if food colouring is plant safe, but it would look quite cool. Although if you had 
white plants or like plants with white blooms you would probably end up colouring them because I'm pretty sure that's how they colour orchids and stuff. So yeah this was, um, you can get them on Amazon, I'll link them if I can find them. They are more expensive than they were on, on um, AliExpress but for a self-watering pot I do quite like them. They're wiped clean, they're f fairly sturdy, well no they are sturdy, they're pretty sturdy um, and they look pretty cool. You can use them with soil, you can use them with lacquer, they're, they're just fairly versatile. Right, I think that's all the self-watering pots that I have that I don't actively hate. The interesting thing about the one that I hate is how popular it is and how good the reviews are, which makes me think I'm missing something, which is probably correct. But it doesn't serve anybody. Sorry if this looks creepy with the light. <laughs> um, now, I don't want to name the brand, but I will link it below because I think that's mean because the brand is the same company that makes these. So I don't hate the brand, I like the brand, I buy a lot of their stuff and I do really like it and they do some really unique pots and I like them. I just feel that this is not the one. It's um, fairly clearly a La Chusa fake and it has all the shortcomings of a La Chusa pot whilst also having more of its own shortcomings. Um, and there's nothing about it that it doesn't have any like good enough features that makes it redeeming. Now I don't have it um, put together properly. It does come with a water gauge, one of those. I mean they are, this one's bigger. They are nylon identical, you wouldn't, they've even got the same matte finish, like textured matte finish, which I hate because it's so hard to clean. Not that I've tried very hard. So yeah, it doesn't have Right, so like the Lachusa pots, it has a plate at the bottom um, rather than an inner pot, which automatically makes it not good for lacquer because you can't flush it properly. Now, you could flush it properly because it does have, if you look, a hole in the bottom. There. But also, if you look as I tilt it, the hole isn't flush in the bottom, obviously because then you couldn't have a reservoir because it would just fall out. But also you can't flush it because you can't get rid of the water. You'd have to take the whole plant out. Which is easier in lacquer than in soil, but also by no means ideal for the sake of making this pot shaped as opposed to just flat, which is what I would have done, like the one with my own theorem in it. If you had a way to plug it, that would be something, but not enough. If you could find a way to plug it and have it flush to the bottom, perfect. But if you couldn't find a way to plug it, at least have a hole in the side so you could tip the water out. The biggest grievance we have though, so with the Lachusa one, it comes with this bit with the water gauge in it. The water gauge for these ones is just the water gauge. Um, let me see if I can find a water gauge. I'll just use this one. So the water gauge fits, well it doesn't, but if it was the right water gauge, it's exactly the same but slightly, um, the one that comes with this one is slightly thinner. It would fit in this hole and then you'd fill the pot up with either soil or lacquer, but there is no way to get the water in the bottom unless you can get use physics um, and get it to suck it up through the hole. <laughs> But there is no way to get water into the reservoir without put, like putting it over the substrate that the plant's in, which is fine with lacquer, in fact probably preferable, um, because you want the lacquer to be damp, evenly damp, really. Um, but with soil, there's no way to, what if you pour too much water in so that it goes above the level of the um, pond or lacquer that you've got in here? you just end up overwatering the plant and there's no way to tell. You could tell that it was at the maximum capacity of the water gauge, but you couldn't tell, like, is it high enough? Is it like high enough, like full, or is it high enough over full? Um, and if it was over full, you, what, what are your options? You just have to take it all out and then it would be all wet. It, it's just not, designed for plants. 
I just think the whole thing could have been sorted if you had an inner pot. And I don't know, I can't tell if that's if that's true or if that's just me wanting an inner pot. And as it stands, I can't actually use these for anything. I mean, I probably could, but I, I don't, I wouldn't. Um, th there are plants you could put in them. So you could use them with soil and you could put something like a pothos or a philodendron in it and it would probably, probably be fine if it was overwatered for too long. Um, or you could just really err on the side of caution. Or you could be one of those people that, is it? Can you see? Th you can sort of see through it, can you? No. You can see where the plate is, but you can't see. Oh, you can sort of see there. Can you see where the plate is? But you couldn't see where the water level is on it. You can just see that it's dark underneath where the plate is because the plate casts, casts a shadow. I seem to think, I seem to recall somewhere, I don't know if it's true, and I'm not willing to buy another four because they come in a pack of four. So I've got four of these that I can't use. I use them as, you've probably seen, it's normally up in that corner as a, a cash flow. But it isn't ideal for that, really, because it's such a pain to tip the water out. Like it's, It takes seconds, but it is just slightly more of a pain the norm using a normal cash pot if you see what I mean so whilst you can use this as an, as, a, as a cash pot a ca is it cash pot or cash po? cash po sounds it sounds like I'm trying to be posh it's an extra step you've got to set the plate out to um remove to get the water out well you don't have to but it'll just fall out uh, and you run the risk there's a very slight risk that you would get water coming out the bottom because it's got a hole in it so whilst I'm not saying that as a deal breaker, and I do use it as a cash flow, it's not unusable as a cash flow. I'm just saying a normal pot, which is consider considerably cheaper, does a better job. So it isn't the best at doing, it's actively bad at doing a lot of things. And the one thing it can do, it doesn't do as well as a simpler thing. So I feel bad, but they don't do anything. And I don't... I don't understand the reviews, but like, it gets quite good reviews and I don't really get it. Um, I think they came out, so the shoes have got big like a year and a half ago and I think they came out fairly soon after and I remember Katie, Ell Katie? I remember Kaylee Ellen did a review and she was just doing it as normal because they do look from the outset just like the shoes are and she was just, you know, filling it up and and, and, and there was either a description an edit to this description box or i think she actually it might have been in, in another video she was like actually no when i came to actually use them because you've got to soak the soil they seem like they're doing well but actually realistically they're not particularly fit, fit for purpose and right to be fair what you could do i think is Forgo the water gauge. This, so this is just a tube. Use the tube like that. Fill it up and then use that to get the water in. Uh, I would recommend working out how much water you would need first and then you'd need a funnel. So you could do that. I suppose but again like like I said it's not that isn't ideal and it's not what it's meant you know it's, it's not that is very much like a hack as opposed to to it's, it's a hack to make it useful which I don't feel should be necessary um but if you've got loads and you don't know what to do with them that is an option um but it does mean you're left without a water gauge at least you'd be able to use it for something, if you get what I mean. You would be able to get the water into the reservoir without... No, that's got holes in the bottom. <laughs> right, so you could leave that on the bottom, pour the water in, but you'd have to measure it. So you'd have to know how much you were putting in, otherwise you'd have the same problem. Once you'd filled it up, then you could re... <laughs> Is that what you're meant to do? Then you're meant to put the water gauge back in. Do you know what I mean? Like, use the water gauge to get the water in the bottom and then put the water gauge together. That would work. It would be a massive ball ache, but it would work. I might try that actually. Is that what everyone else is doing? Am I, have I just, is that what it says on the instructions? That's, I mean, it's, it probably does. <sighs> I feel like I've had an epiphany and I can actually use them now. Anyway, that is my collection of self-watering pots. I'm so sorry it was rambly and weird. I feel like I'm always saying that and I'm, I've always got like an excuse, like I'm tired or I've got a cold. 
I think I'm maybe just um, rambly and weird. So yeah, and I'm sorry, I've got, you can see my pyjamas, I've got my wash in there, I've got, I'm actually, I've actually not got the pile of Amazon parcels there. I've started my Christmas shopping, it's massively late for me. Um, I've got a job which means in December it is crazy busy, so I like to have my Christmas shopping done, ideally done and wrapped by October, and I've only just started buying, so it's really late for me. Uh, and I thought you could see it in the frame, but I remembered now I'm actually using it as a tripod. <laughs> oh, my snail's alive! Oh my god, look! Look at him! He's there! Oh, oh, I'm so glad! Oh, he's so cute! I'm sorry, he's gone back in his hole. Oh, um... Right, he's an outside snail, so he will go back outside. Um, oh, do you know? I'm so glad! <laughs> Oh, do you know, I'm so glad I filmed this video because if I hadn't filmed it, I wouldn't have... Now I can't remember whether I found him in this video or the last one. Anyway, I'm so glad I found him. Otherwise, he would be in that part forever. Right, anyway. <laughs> I've no idea. Was I finished? I think I was finished. Right, I'll see you next week. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.